Hi, and welcome to Hotterwood. I'm Klaus. In general, my shop, or let's just say shop might be in uh, overselling it, but uh, my wood shopping spot is, uh, is a bit messy, as uh, you can see in general. Um, I intend to do something about that. My plan is to build a storage unit for my sanding equipment. Um, today, my sanding equipment is spread around uh, the whole the whole spot here, and um, and it's mostly taking up a lot of space on my table, which is uh, which is kind of annoying, as you can see in the background here. There's a lot of sanding paper and rolls and stuff just lying on the table, which kind of takes up a lot of space that I don't have a lot. Of. So I'm gonna try and build a, a cabinet for my sanding equipment. I have picked up a lot of inspiration on other channels and um, I'm gonna try and do my own variant of, uh, of what I've seen on, uh, on uh, mostly uh, Shop Nation and uh, Woodshop Junkies are, are the two I've looked at and I'm gonna try to do my own variant of that. I'm gonna use birch plywood to, uh, to build this uh, cabinet and uh, I bought uh, two sheets of plywood, one 12 millimeter and one six millimeter. So the 12 millimeter is mostly for sides, etc. and uh, six millimeter for the back. Uh, I've also bought a sheet of uh, MDF, which I'm gonna use for the for separating the, the sanding paper, the sheets. The plywood I bought is uh, is 120 by 80 centimeters. They fit nicely in my car, so I don't have to, to bring a trailer when I, when I buy them. All right, but uh, that's it. So let's, uh, let's get to the building part. So I wanted to try and model it before I build it. I've never played with SketchUp before, so there was also just an excuse to get started with SketchUp. It turned out to be a really good idea because just building it in SketchUp gave me some ideas about what would be good and what would be bad. Uh, this was actually my first attempt uh, where I wanted to, to store the sanding papers uh, horizontally. But that actually showed me when I was building it that the shelf would be really, really deep. So that would be, uh, it would come too far out from the wall. Um, and I would also have a space here I really didn't know what to do with. And, didn't have anything to put in there. Yeah, so actually, I actually ended up doing more iterations. That was my third try. So, and I really, uh, the time spent here was really well spent instead of just wasting wood. Uh, and I kind of, ended up kind of liking it. It was also fun uh, playing around with SketchUp. Okay, so I cut it all up on the table saw. I have uh, a stack here of, uh, of 12 millimeter and I have a stack here of what I've cut out uh, for the 6 mm So now we're just uh, gonna put it all together. So now that I've uh, cut these small grooves into the sides, I'm going to start uh, assembling the sides. So that didn't turn out well, but it's, uh, luckily it's going to be on the back, so it's not going to be that visible. But uh, I'm going to try to assemble the side now. And this uh, corner thing, the shoes need to dry out. I want to see if it could uh, assist me in this.
As you can see, we have moved over to the drill press stand in my workshop. So we are back at the assembly table. The glue is pretty much dried up on the, uh, the storage cabinet and uh, we're going to try and see if we can get it uh, back to fit. It's a pretty nice fit. So, uh See if we can get the bag on. I think it's too much hoping for a snug fit. I think I'm gonna have to fit the, uh, the corners here and not all even, so probably gonna be something to do. prediction there right the corners don't quite fit but uh, yeah, it's a very small thing I think it was from the routing I didn't want to go too close to the edge and I can see that there's a bit of the corners that needs to be taken off so I'll try to do that with a chisel Sometimes you just get tired of yourself. When I was putting in the holders for the drawers, I I remember I was thinking that it wasn't. I was wondering if there were room for the drawers, uh, for the drawer fronts. Uh, but I kind of just ignored it and put up the, uh, the shelf holders. And uh, now there's no room for it. As you can see, if I put it in the shelf, it's uh, it sticks out. It's about one or two millimeters. So uh, I actually need to get out the holders or somehow make them shorter. Um, so yay. But on the other hand, uh, I picked up this uh, small tool the other day. I was in the hardware store. Uh, I figured I got to own that. <laughs> uh, I didn't really know what I was going to use it for, but now I know. It kind of it extends your drill and it can go into corners and, and drill that. And, So, moment of truth, I've uh, shortened these. Uh, I've shortened these up a bit, and uh, this drawer should be better aligned now with the 
times. A bit off, but for me that's uh, that's fairly decent, at least. So I made these out of the three millimeter MDF, and they're gonna fit in to to separate the, the sandpaper layers, uh, kind of like this. There we go. Um, to be able to get a hold of the sandpaper, I'm gonna do a, as you saw in the drawing. I'm gonna do a small cut here so you can kind of grab the sandpaper. All right. So we've uh, just cut the holes for the for the MDF, and uh, let's see if uh, we can fit it all together. So I should be thinking about stuff beforehand, but apparently not. That's not my strong side. So um, I've uh, come to discover that when I put these. Uh, sanding blocks in here they actually go in too deep and the small chamfer i can't really get a hold of it so um, it actually became a quick and dirty solution because when this one is filled up you can't see what's in uh, behind so i just made this uh, small piece of wood that i'm gonna stick to the middle in here so it uh, it will stop there Alright, I'm just gonna fasten it with some, some bread nails. Alright, so I've uh, added that small one block in the end and it makes this one not go in any further. So I just uh, need two more. So this is uh, how they're supposed to fit. Um, I just need to glue them on. I could have made a chamfer of some kind to put them in, but I didn't, so I'll just try and glue them and see if that uh, if that sticks. I'm gonna use this uh, epoxy uh, rapid drying. That's really the only thing I have beside wood glue, so uh, I'll try and see if that works. There was really no reason for me to make a French cleat other than actually wanting to try to make a French cleat. I could just have mounted it on the wall, but uh, I decided to to make uh, to try and make a French cleat. So uh, I'm gonna try and mount it up here. I think I'll uh, uh, I want to have it here. Then I can add if I want to later. I can add more above and, uh, and below if if I want to add more. All right. So that's uh, French cleat installed on the wall. I just need the glue to dry on, on the front plates and then we should be able to mount it. I just quickly added two small uh, spacers on the bottom. Since I weren't really going to mount any more cleats on the wall, they just uh, I just added two small spacers uh, to, to just keep it uh, out of the wall with the same uh, thickness as uh, the top cleat. Alright, so uh, we're ready to install the holder on the wall. And I'm just going <coughs> to... See if it fits actually. There we go. Just gonna remove the take the layer. And then it's just about putting all the stuff in there. So we got the paper for the random orbit sander. We got the random orbit sander itself. And then on the side here, we can put in the separators. So that's the, the sanding equipment station done. 
I just need to I have a few ideas for, for the small teeth on the front and I think I'm just gonna do one of them as an example. I said I wanted to do some extras uh, and I have. I've done one, you can take them off like this. I've done one for uh, for some roller sanding. There's some, there's some holes in the bottom where they, uh, the rolls fit in. And there's uh, a groove in the bottom for uh, for the extra rolls. Uh, the one I like the most actually is uh, the small one I made for my sanding paper for different grits that I usually use on the lathe. And uh, you can just uh, pull off here and there's a small uh, metallic strip down here that you can rip off uh, the length that you need. Uh, and it all rolls on that, this really clean. And I think the nice thing about this one is that I can uh, have it hanging here, but I can also bring this one over to the lathe if I want to have it over there. So this is the build. I ended up being really happy with it. Um, there's only a few things that I would change if I were to do it again. I think the, the small uh, shelves up here, I would pay a bit more attention to them, um, building them because they're a bit crooked, but uh, out here I think it's, it's good enough. Um, and there was also the the small holes for the for the fingers here. I would definitely do those before assembling the cabinet. I would make it way easier to make those. Other than that, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with it. But let me hear in the comments uh, if you think there's something that could have been done differently.